so I'm talking to a grown at Bloodstock. How are you doing, guys? We are well. Yeah. We are very well. Would you like to introduce yourselves? I am Ankow of Agrona. I'm the drummer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tolanis of Agrona and I'm the vocalist. I'm Phoenix of Agrona and I play guitar. Aaron of Agrona, also guitar. I'm Craylon of Agrona, I am the bassist. So how are you guys feeling about playing Bloodstock? Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. It's still sinking in. It's still sink, sinking in. Yeah. yeah. You know, this. Um, done it. <laughs> yeah. It feels like when we just like just started to scale the summit of an awesome fucking peak, and I was going to go for a mountain climbing analogy, but I'm a little bit blazed from. <laughs> but either way, the elation that we're feeling right now. You know, we're very much on a natural and chemical high, but mostly natural high. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. I think chemical's the home brew. Chemical's the, yeah. So could you describe to me your bloodstock journey and how you got here? <laughs> no? But, yeah. kind of, we, well, our first show was the Metal to the Masses last year, yeah. and that was our debut completely, and we managed to get through to the semi-finals. Got knocked out by Chaos Trigger, who won last year. So it was really nice to then come back this year, a bit more tried and tested, a bit more confident in ourselves, playing harder material, and we just bled through it and arrived in Bloodstock. Mm -hmm. It was always our goal to come back here to actually play it, so we have just been gigging continuously. I remember it was like your vow was just like, you know what boys, we're going to yeah, win, yeah, yeah. we're like, going to win. Last year my exact words were, next year we will play this festival, we will play it. And psychic, see? I know. <laughs> Rituals. But no, it's c continuous gigging and just, yeah, com staying active, and that's how we've, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so even before Metal to the is the, the week before we went on a tour of the, uh, well, a sort of small weekend tour of the UK, so we did Manchester, Nottingham and Bristol, just trying to get ourselves out there as well, not just amongst the more local crowd who we're yeah. not typically used to playing to. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, just doing that across the year, really. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's a good set. Playing to unfamiliar crowds helps us not sit in the that little merc of being a, a local band yeah. so it allows us to take away some of the in jokes that you would have with your home crowd yeah. and it allows us to put on a solid performance that is then I mean, the, marketable. The problem is with the, like, um, the Welsh in particular it's so fragmented that there isn't that much unity and any band that does try to strike out it's also very difficult for them as well they just tend to get stuck almost like in the, in the quagmire of just doing circuits and all that, but you know, we seem to have, as um, you were saying with the uh, the tour, was the first uh, offensive out of, into the, beyond our own borders, yeah. so now, fucking bloodstock. That's, holy shit. Fucking <laughs> 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 <Like> bloodstock. <laughs> so if you guys would describe your sound with one word each, it can't be a sentence and you can't say the same word, what would you say? Any day now. <laughs> <laughs> so, someone else start, it will come to me. <laughs> L loud. Tall. Oh. Uh, <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> what word would you, you describe yourself with? One word. My, um, happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Angry. <laughs> Fair enough. It was sort of happy angry. <laughs> not an angry man, you're We have the full gamut of emotion here. Yeah. 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 Essentially, you might as well just uh, say bipolar and that covers it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Schizophrenic. Schizophrenic. <laughs> yeah. Right, this is one question I've been asking every band this weekend. What is your least favourite thing about metal? <laughs> um, the elitism, of it. elitism. I mean, I would say we're elitists ourselves, but on, no, the, the only sense that we've sort of like a refined taste. I mean, like so, sort of like we read some of us really like the underground stuff, but there's the people which have more or less dis disappeared up their own ass in the sense of oh, because I have such and such rare vinyl collection, I have brownie points, and I have somehow elevated beyond my own status. And I'm thinking, <laughs> get back down to your own station, you fool. Normally, those are the kind of people who actually make it to the festivals, though, because they don't appreciate what the live music does for the yeah. entire thing. So at the same time, I don't think that kind of I, I don't think that kind of bad side of metal really finds its way over here. But it it does exist, and you do come across it. It's normally keyboard warriors. Yeah, yeah. So, we know, know quite a few of them. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if someone, someone posted online that apparently, you know, one of the best advice is, oh, the band should never interact with the audience on stage. Even just black metal band should not talk to people and think, what the. No, that's actually ridiculous. I'm sorry. I mean, even even bloody Eric from What Taylor Casey goes, you know, that's interaction. He's acknowledging the audience to completely blank them is exactly. just. 
And at the end of the day, we're having fun. So why not show that we're having fun? You know? It's, yeah. Performing to them, not at them. Yeah. That's why it's just a masturbatory experience then. It's yeah. just fucking, well, self masturbatory. Well, you know, the, you know the meaning. All right, do you guys have anything you want to say before we wrap this up? Well, just thank you for having us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, thank yeah, you yeah, to you. Simon Hall, Rob Bannister, Metal to the Masters crew, full stop. Um, but the guys who did our sound on the on the tent as well. Ma massive thanks to them as well. Um, and then, of course, we've got first personally, I think, Rob Toogood of Fuel Rock. Uh, Fuel Rock yeah, Band, get a look at that. <laughs> thank you, Rob. Bit, bit of, a, bit of a nice sponsorship there. And, um, also, Gavin Davis, who's actually managed to put us on so many gigs. Yeah. It's half the reason. And we've got a name out there. He's so. actually playing tomorrow, by the way. Yeah, check out Sodomized Cadaver on the Sunday in the Jägermeister stage. Yes. I haven't really yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.